Uh, Rachel Amber is a bitch. Okay. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Um, mirror. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Another poster. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> the funny thing is, that's actually true to me too. I got the flu last time I got the flu shot, and I haven't had a since. I'm good to flow, thanks. This poster must drive people to have sex. Kate twerks for God. Okay. Someone also likes the all-seeing eye. I hate Victoria Chase. Well, good for you. Uh, can I ring it? I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Um, let's use the faucet. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Well, there goes your entry. What are you gonna do now? When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Butterfly. I'm gonna name you Butterfree. You know, like the Pokemon. Cause what you kinda remind me of? Butterfree. Or that other one in the new series. I don't know what it's called. I haven't kept up with Pokemon in a while. Dude, that Polaroid's awesome. Hey! It's the women's bathroom. What the hell are you doing here? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! It's not like I didn't see that happening. Now she dead. Whoa. Or not. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Hold why left trigger to rewind. Because sure, why not? Wish I could do this in real life. I did now. it. Can you I actually did it. Like Prince of Persia. Perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. 
Anybody? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her image. Still the same stupid picture. You feel like totally so, at, when I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. She saw humanity if he does again, I'll know this is for real. Let's take another selfie. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Oh, I, know I sure I'm do. Dreaming this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. Since the early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Um, I'm sick. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Notice after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> what if I rewind again and give him the right answer? No, faces, girl. Watch this. Right trigger to rewind faster, okay. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can RB you please... Skip? Why not? Uh, Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> ha, suck the on it. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. The damn right. You guys, I am. don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So, Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're... I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. But I want to be a hero! I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, I'm not avoiding. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Yeah. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. This guy obviously should have been a counselor. He gives great advice. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. Hey, no, shut Victoria. up! Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, what John Lennon said. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I'm on it, Chief. Now I'm gonna be a hero. Later. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. It's alright if they think you're crazy. When you tell them, we can just reverse time. It always works. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. 
Then the butterfly. What's up, butterfly? And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Uh, don't don't far, though. Down. Tell me what I need a hammer to break I'm it open. Sick of people trying to control me. You are going Looks to like Samuel to forgot to take the cleaning cart out of here. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get Ooh, hammer. Away from me, get the hammer. Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from Hammer. me, psycho! Hammer. Oh. Damn it. Hold on. Don't ever Hammer. tell me what now. to do. I'm so sick of people trying. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. <laughs> Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Uh, Do not freak out. What the fuck's going on is you have the coolest power in the world right now. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Are you being a excuse dick right for now? for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Why are you gonna be a dick, man? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah, you put him in his place. Principal Wells. Thanks, man. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm the older guy I'm was being a douche. Just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. I mean, do you honestly believe he's gonna believe you? Alright, we'll try it. You look a little... Skip. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... That lip then syncing, though. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. 
Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Like I figured, this deuce is probably being paid off right now. You know what? I'm just gonna rewind and go with the first answer. You look a little stripped. Skip. Hide. I just got- Skip. I don't care what you say. Good day. Leave me alone. Going outside. So, I'm going to take a break right here, and when we get back, we'll just start off right here. Alright, see you in a bit.